Hey everyone, we're back, and I think I'm live, and this time I did beat Whizpig once again, and it has saved. Hopefully you can all hear me, hopefully everything looks and sounds okay. I think there's two different gameplays. Oh. That should be better. Now we're going to head off into space! I'm so happy. I was so upset yesterday. I was so, so upset when it didn't work, so... Thank God, we're back. And then we have a new set of levels to check out. Spaceport. We have Star City, Spaceport Alpha, Dark Moon Caverns, and Space Dust Alley. And before we get started, I'm just going to quickly share that I'm live on Discord and Twitter as well. So. Hello everyone who's already joined before I've shared it around. And if you did tune in yesterday, I'm also very sorry that we didn't really get very far with it. So bear with me one second. I have to spam everywhere except Twitch because there's actually no sort of community feed on Twitch itself. So there we go, one down. save my picture. Anyway, how's everyone doing while we're waiting for this to load? I'll put it on Discord as well, because I know some people wanted to come and have a look. Alright, and we have officially posted. Right. Let's get started with this new set of levels. Let's get started with Space Dust Alley. We have 39 balloons. So this is actually the only one we can tackle at the minute. Space Dust Alley. And I've got um, much more of a memory of playing these games on the DS than I do on the N64. I think the DS version of the game is actually easier. I'm not sure what makes it easier. But I definitely didn't have as much trouble with the Wizpig fights. Anyway, I'll stay quiet for a minute and enjoy this amazing music. Still, the opponents don't really seem to be posing a threat to me. Maybe I've just got so good from fighting Wizpig for like two hours without stopping. I know. They heard me. Now I'm in second. In my defense, I wasn't fighting Wizpig in an airplane. Oh, this music is so good. I know I've been saying this for every stream, but David Wise is just an absolute musical genius. I love the colours on this level as well. Really fun. And I presume if you go into those laser things, lightning bolt things, you'll end up getting electrocuted. So stay away from them. And let's see whether we can make it through all these doors without crashing into the walls this time. Whoa, sharp turn there. It's almost like playing a Star Fox game. Final lap. Hey, Risu Chu's in the chat, and you made me crash into a palm tree. And who else is there? Sky Fox. Ah, I can't concentrate and read the chat at the same time. Let's see what is in the lower path. What's the bananas? Apparently, the bananas make you go faster. Although, I haven't really noticed it make much difference. Oh no! Oh, that was a lucky speed boost there, right at the end. Yay, first place. Oil slick in the sky is just a fart cloud. <laughs> oh, auto mod didn't let you say the word fart. 
I had to just accept that. I think maybe the mod's being a bit overzealous there. Yay, now we have 40 balloons. I'm kind of sad there's only four more levels to do. I better not say the word fart in case it bans me. Uh, where are we go now? 40 balloons. Dark Moon Cavern. Dark Moon Cavern. I'll turn the volume up a bit so I can hear it too. We're in the car this time. Oh yes, this is the credits music. I love this music. I love it. all the music. This one's especially good. And it's cool hearing this coming from the N64, because, like I said, usually I get to these levels on the DS game. It's very rare that I can actually get this far on the N64. Because it's a lot more challenging. And loop the loop Sonic R style. Imagine if these songs had vocals. Uh, oh my god, everyone was all grouped up behind me. Ah, I can't see. No fart clouds this time, we've got actual oil slicks. This is actually kind of a difficult course, it's very twisty. Yeah, I got all the bananas. Oh, this music's so good, it's almost bringing a tear to my eye. Listen to this. I saw there was a cheat code that actually lets you make the AI on ultra difficult mode. So once I've actually finished the game and finished all these levels, I might give that a go just to see how challenging it can be like max difficulty. It's not actually an option in the game, you have to type something in on the options menu. No. That was a good corner there, but I'm still in second. Yes, that's what I wanted, home and missile, just in case I need it. We're going to try and save this thing. Yay, we did it! First place! Right, who else is here? Mellow Jello 88 Hello, every time I remember N64 gen games and prior consoles, I always forget how relentless and unforgiving the hitboxes are. Yeah, the hitboxes definitely take a bit of getting used to if you're coming from something like one of the new Mario Kart games or something. And yeah, the frame rate's not great, but I don't really care. It's still fun. One of the, um, one of the things that Kev Bayliss said in an interview that I watched recently is the one regret that he has with this game is... The, the fact the frame rate was as bad as it was, and if there was one thing you would want to try and fix today, it would be to improve the frame rate. And he also said that modders might be able to get it running at 60 frames per second if they try hard enough, so if anyone's watching who feels like modding some N64 ROMs, give it a go. I'd like to see this running at full speed. They improved it slightly with the DS one. That one runs at 30, I think. Ah, where am I going? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh no! I might have to restart this, this is going badly. I forgot how challenging these levels are, there's so many sharp turns and things going on in the course. And wow, look how bright. And colourful it is. Let's see if we can fight our way back. They're not too far ahead. I'll try and get the 10 missiles if we can. Oh 
I'll just get whatever comes my way, I guess. Okay, where we go now? Up here. Okay, got it right that time. Up to second. There's something weird about the N64 frame rate. It's like, usually I'm quite um, perceptive to bad frame rates, but when it comes to the N64, for some reason, it doesn't bother me. Like, obviously it's not good, but it doesn't really seem to affect the gameplay at all. It's still really responsive. And I don't understand why it is that the N64 makes me feel like that, but no other console. Like, if I'm playing, for example, a Dreamcast game, like if I was playing Toy Racer, which is basically the Dreamcast's equivalent of this, if I notice the frame rate stuttering on there, it's really obvious and it's really off-putting. But I can play this game at like 10 frames a second and it doesn't bother me. I don't know why that is. Is there something different with the way the N64 like, draws the frames to the screen or pulls the inputs of the controller or something? There's definitely something that makes it feel different. I don't know what that is. Yay, first place again! And I'll do a little spin at the end. Uh, right, let's catch up in the chat. No settings for Roger played Diddy Kong Racing. Seth Rogen. I don't know. He was weird as Donkey Kong. Uh, you recently played Ocarina of Time in 4K at 120 frames a second. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, right, where are we going to now? Star City! There's a place called Star City just down the road from here. Star City? Unfortunately, it doesn't have any resemblance to this. Um, do people prefer N64 or 3DS Ocarina of Time? What does everyone in chat think? I think the, um, the 3DS one was a massive upgrade, in terms of graphics at least. Where am I meant to be going? I'm going to restart. I think I'm going around the track backwards. Obviously the 3DS version has a much better frame rate as well, which helps. Although, I don't really like playing Zelda on a handheld. I think like a big adventure game like that belongs on a TV, so... I would still probably rather play the N64 one, unless there was a way of playing the 3DS game on the TV without needing all the stuff from the second screen. Like, a, a game like Zelda deserves to be experienced on a big screen. I think. Although I did like the 3D on the 3DS game. Yeah, I'm doing much better this time. I say that as I crash into the wall. I love the controls in Diddy Kong Racing. They feel so much more responsive than, uh, than in Mario Kart 64. Like, look how easily I can take these corners. I would be flying into the walls if this was Mario Kart 64. Well, I didn't get that speed boost at the end. I know it depends what characters you play as, but I honestly think they all feel better than anything Mario 64 has to offer. Uh, and I spun out of control. You can't hold down the drift too long in one direction. Oh yeah, one of the issues that the frame rate's not as good in this compared to Mario Kart is the fact that everything's 3D. Whereas if you have a look at Mario Kart 64, it's not really that apparent on a CRT, but if you look at it on an OLED or a LCD, you can tell that all the characters in the carts are actually just 2D sprites. Whereas in this game, everything is 3D, apart from the wheels. Um, the 3DS version was too high contrast. Yeah. 
yeah, they did do a lot to improve those games. So I think the if it was someone's first time playing, definitely recommend the 3DS versions. It's just a bit sad that they're stuck on the 3DS. Space Dust Alley. So what does everyone think of these um, space levels so far? I think they're all pretty fun. I like that they're more challenging stages compared to the uh, to earlier in the game. Right, now we are doing a silver coin challenge. So I have to pay attention to where all the coins are. And if you're new to this game or you don't know how it works, you have to pick up all the coins over the three laps. And you also have to finish in first at the end of it too. Which of course is easier said than done, especially on some of these later stages, because the coins can be hidden in really annoying locations. Oh, there was one just there. I'll try and get that on the next side. Whoa! And I bet there's some hidden behind these pillars. Oh, I didn't see any there at all. Right. Keep my eyes peeled, they're going to be around here somewhere. Color explosion! This level's insanely colourful. Apparently this is what it looks like in space. Is there one on that side? Yes. Okay, this, this is going to be awkward because this is a big open area. So I bet there's some hidden... There, there's one down there. I bet the rest of them are down there. Okay. I didn't see any up here. Oh, there's one there. Yes. Two left. Maybe we can do this on our first run. Oh, not if that happens. I don't need to go over there anymore. Apart from to avoid the UFO. I really thought there'd be one over there somewhere. There's one. I'm still missing one. No, I don't know where it is. Oh well, we can try again. Did anyone spot a coin that I missed there? again. I don't think I can even try another level because at this point in the game it actually limits you based on the amount of balloons that you've got. So I just have to just force my way through this one. Ow! Ow! Weird, there isn't one over there at all. Okay. Keep an eye out around these pillars. I bet there's one hidden behind one somewhere. I can't see one anywhere though. Although everything is getting a bit washed out by all these colours everywhere. Whoa, that worked really well. Totally not intentional though. <laughs> Two more. Uh. Okay, I'll come back to that one on the last lap. Oh, maybe I just missed one earlier, because that was one as well. Hey, maybe we can do this. 
I just need to remember on the final lap to go down the bottom instead of at the top. Okay, we're only in third, so we can we can get back. I don't know how I managed to 100% this game as a kid. I must have been very patient. Or just have better reflexes than I do now. Straight down the bottom, that's fine. Wait, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It wasn't there, it was at the top. Is that why you're saying you're lucky I'm not in you're not in the same room? Oh I'm so stupid. It's too hot, I can't think properly. I want to do more tricks like that. Let's do one here. Ready? Hey, look at that. Oh, great. Hey, it worked for a second. And I'm going to get hit by the UFO. Okay. I got it this time. I got it. Now actually we do need to go down the bottom. In the middle. Yes. I thought I missed that one then. How am I in eighth? What's going on? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna cry in a minute. Sharp turn. That's the last one. Yay. Now I just have to do a really good final lap. Here we go. I'm concentrating. No, I thought I'd gone past the tree. Oh my god, this is painful. Right in the centre. Let him get Diddy Kong. My rival throughout this adventure. Let's just stay down here, I think it's safer. Why am I still in second? Who? No, damn it! Oh no! ahead of me. I think they already finished. Oh no, I'm going to do it again. Uh, this one's tough. Who was it? Show me who it was. Banjo. Right, bring it on, Banjo. Oh no. It's so hot in here, my HDMI splitter just fell off the, the desk. It was being held up by the uh, the sticky glue things and it was just melting. Hopefully everything's still connected. Still see everything, okay? Yeah, stuff's been falling off my desk onto my lap at work because the uh, the glue that's holding things up is melting. I need to find a stronger way of attaching things to stuff. Yeah. 
I need two more. I can't remember which one I got now. Did I get the one on the left or the one on the right? Hey, you stole it from me. Oh, what am I missing? The one at the bottom? Oh, I'm scared now. I don't know which one I'm missing. Which one am I missing? Did I already get them both? Yes! Now I just need to stay in first. I wasn't missing either of them. Ah, current control! I'll try and hold on to this missile. Just in case. Safe for underneath, I think. I don't know if that way is actually faster or slower. Okay, speed up. I'll, I'll use it. Can we get another one? No. Never mind. First place! Yay, we did it! Finally! Oh dear. It was actually the cheaper version of that sticky stuff that just fell off, so... Looks like the things that are stuck on with the more expensive one are still there. Nice this is for you. This is for you. I have 44 balloons now. Right. I don't know how many there are in the game altogether. Uh, oh, we can't get in there yet. We need 45. We're we'll going here now. Dark Moon Caverns. I forgot to record the game. This YouTube video is going to be awful. Right, it's recording. Um, sub badges, you need to add them. I want a shiny Game Boy next to my name. Oh, I thought I already did. Did I just upload them and not do anything with them? I don't know how to get them on here. There's not enough space on this screen. Well, I'll figure that out after the stream. We've got to go and find some coins here now. Yay, my favourite music. Enjoy this tune. In between animals shouting at each other. so twisty it's going to be impossible to memorize how to get them okay there's one right on the end there Probably one on this side. Ah, oh, there's one in the middle. And next time, we've still got one more lap. Oh, there's one back there. Yes, got it. At least this lap wasn't entirely wasted. Oh my god, crashed into the wall once and went straight from first to fifth. Another one in the middle here as well. Ah, that's going to be really difficult to get to. Well, that still doesn't account for one more. Ah, yes, got it. Okay, maybe we can still do it. There's one in the middle here. Yes. And the last one is in the middle on the loop-the-loop. -loop. Oh 
Oh my god, this track is all over the place. It's not this one, it's the second one. So as long as we get on here quick. We should have a little bit of time to aim for the next one. All the Diddy Kongs are right on my tail. Yes, got it! Go for it! No, I'm just gonna try not to crash. Yeah, we did it! First try. That was so close. Hey, hey! Thank you, Taj. Where are you keeping all these balloons? Uh, we have four to five. Then we can go in this one. I'm not doing too badly, actually. This one's going to be challenging. This is probably the hardest level because it's so twisty and you have to go over the airplanes all the time. I saw that one. Whoa, that one's really awkward to get to. Oh my god, it's so colourful, I can't see. as well. And up there! Ugh, got it. Just about. Here. Hey, maybe I'm not doing too badly. I can probably pick all these up in two whacks. There's two missing. I know where one of them is. I thought there might be one in this room because it's so big, but I couldn't see one. Oh, it's there! Okay, I know where that is. There's no point making these rooms so big then if we're not going to hide anything in there. Okay, stay on the right. Go up! Yes, got it. I'm just holding R the entire time to make these sharp turns. And usually you only turn that far. Unless you hold down R. That was a nice corner there. If that was the final lap, that would have been pretty nerve-wracking. I know where I need to aim now. Right in the middle of this bit here. It's going to be very awkward. No. Do I try and go back? Uh, I don't think I can. Damn, we'll have to restart. Let's try and get that on the first lap. That's a lot further away than I thought. Let's try and get it now. I need to go down more than I think. Of. Ah, well that's really awkward. All right, let's try again. I'm going to try and get that one on the first lap, so I don't have to worry about it after that. That's deceiving. It looks a lot closer. Again, the annoying thing is you can't line up with this one because I guess you can do that if you just hit your head into the wall. Okay, we got it. I don't think there's any way of getting both of these in the same lap. So let's do them one at a time. Where is it? I'm sure there was one on the left. more to find. I didn't think I missed that many. I'm getting a bit worried that I won't remember where the rest of them are now. Okay, I got that one. Yeah, I've got the one in here. Neo Prism, hello, how are you this evening? Oh, it's right there. 
and maybe we can get them. Oh, we can't quite get them both. It's okay, we've got one lap left. But there's two more left, so there's another one. There's another one floating around somewhere. I don't know where this other one is. Did anyone see another coin? Well, the frame rate doesn't help. On the draw distance. Oh, was it just the one I missed up there? Yeah. Okay, we can do it! Now it's just a race to the finish. And I had a homing missile. Oh no, where is it? I still missed one. I still missed one. Ah, this level's going to drive me crazy. I don't know where that last one was. There's one at the starting place. There's one on the left up here. There's one in the middle on this section. I'm going to try the same tactic, bang my head on the roof to slow me down a bit. I think I've got them all so far. There's one on the floor down here. And then there's one immediately up there. I don't think there's another one in this bit. I don't think there's one in this tunnel. There's one right in the exit. One more, I can't find it anywhere. Maybe I never got that one. Can anyone see one more coin? I've got all the other ones down there, it's just that one I'm missing. Is it in here? No. There's so much going on in this section, it's hard to pay attention to what's going on, but I don't think there's a coin there. I keep thinking I'm missing one in here, but I can't see one. And again, outside here, but I can't see one. Is there one round this corner? No. I have no idea where this last one is. Can anyone see it? I'm not even going to try and finish in first. I'm just going to try and lock the coin. Okay. That room is completely empty. It's not in there. For some reason, there's a speed booster that's facing the other direction. But no coins. Now, it could be here. This section's so bright and there's like all sorts of sparks going on and stuff. Right. I've just been completely blind. I can't find it anywhere. I don't want to go through there because that's finished. Am well, I going to have to look up a walkthrough just to find out? Wait, there it is. Okay, where's that? It's right at the top of the tunnel at the end of the section of the lasers. Okay. Uh, Neo Prism asks, have you tried uh, We Love Katamari Reroll? I haven't tried the remake or the re-release, but I've played the original on the PS2 and I absolutely love it. So I'm so glad that it's got remade because it is one of my favourite games. Is it worth picking up the new one? Have they improved anything? Because apparently when they remade the first one, the um, 
controls and the frame rate was a little bit worse than the than the originals, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why ports of games always seem worse than the games they're based on. But hopefully they managed to fix whatever issues they had with this second Katamari release. I would love to get it on the Switch, so hopefully the uh, frame rate and stuff's okay on that version. Yeah, I love it on the PS2. And the uh, and the Xbox 360 and PS3, they all have great versions of PS3. Right, I'm going to restart. I did terribly. But I know where they all are now, at least. Maybe I should do a Katamari stream. I don't know what I'm going to play after this just yet, so... Katamari might be a fun game. Oh my god, that one's impossible to get if you don't stop. I think it's best to stay on this side. I'm going to aim for the top here. Yes. No wonder I kept missing it, because I never go that high up. One left. I'm going to do my tactic. Bang my head on there so I can line myself up. Go! Oh, why did I do it again? I don't need to bang my head on the other side. Damn it, Timber. He's going to be dizzy, eh? Okay, there's another lap. I can still fight back. <laughs> it looks like everyone else crashed there as well. It was a bit of a pile-up. Take the inside line. We can do it. I only have to, I only have to gain two more places in this final lap and not crash. I do not need to bang my head this time. There we go. That's how you do it. Who's ahead of us? Bumper? Double blue balloons. Yes, and we made it through the tunnel in one piece. Can we make it out the other side in one piece? Oh, I stole it! No, you don't. No, you don't! Come on, inside line! Yes! Yes! That was so close! There we go, one more race down! That's got to be a millisecond finish. Wow. This is for you. This is for me. I deserve that one. Okay, we've got 46. What can we do now? Star City. Star City. Oh, he doesn't sound as excited as I was. Star City. Get ready. Get ready. Go. Go. Oh yeah, do you want to know something really scary? Once I actually beat this game and collect all of the coins, we actually have to fight Whizpig again. And he's even harder. So I have no idea how I'm going to pull that off. But we'll find out when we get there. Yeah, I need to stay on the outside here and then try not to fall off because I don't know how to get back on. This section reminds me of something from the first Sonic Adventure. When you do completely finish the game, you actually unlock um, Adventure 2, which is like mirror mode with new locations for all the silver coins. And... Oh wow, I got all of them. 
and more difficult AI, so that'll be fun. I'm not sure whether I'll actually play all the way through Adventure 2 or not, because I do want to move on to playing another game at some point, and it's basically the same, the same as what we've already done, just mirrored, of course, and with tougher boss fights. And you know what the boss fights are like in this game. They're pretty challenging as they are. But I love the challenge of this game, as much as I like to complain. Oh, that was some good cornering. Oh, I didn't quite get the boost at the end. Please, eat the chicken, eat the drumstick. I actually tried uh, racing Whizpig as drumstick because he's a bit faster, but I couldn't do it. He controls a bit sloppier than Timber. Get the speed boost this time, yes. Wow, this has to be the easiest one so far. Even though I crashed, no one's even behind me. Easy. Hey, first time chat from Ratchet Gaming All Stars. Hello. You loved my room tour. Thank you. I was glad to finally do that video because I've been trying to improve the room for a long time, so. When I was finally happy, like a year after I'd already made it, then I could do a video. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed making it. And thanks for checking out the stream too. Uh-oh. Whizpig wasn't dead, now we're going to fight him again. I like doing the room tour videos because it's interesting for me to look back on in the future and think, wow, I used to have my room like that, look how bad it is. I like to constantly keep improving on it. You've been following the YouTube channel for a while. That's awesome. What are some of your favourite videos so far? Oh no. No, we have to fight, fight him in space. Okay. I'm scared. I thought I was done with Whizpig. I didn't expect to be fighting him again so soon. In an aeroplane, no less. Hey, I'm off to a good start. In first. For a second. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't see. Now it looks like a Spyro level. What is going on here? UFO is attacking me from every direction. Sharp turns. And no whiz pig in sight. Okay, it's just a weirdly long course through lots of caverns. And then some open air bits with UFOs fighting. I don't think I've got any chance of catching up to him. Let's try again. Oh, that's not fair. It lifted me up. Maybe I've still got a chance. I didn't crash out too badly. Let's try a homing missile, see whether that can slow him down a bit. Ah, these corners and the lightning everywhere. It may not look difficult, but with the physics of the aeroplane, it's really challenging. Oh my god, how long are we going to be on this fight? Hopefully not two hours like the original Whizpig fight. Oh, I'm leaving that one. I'm going to take the inside line. And immediately I got hit by something and hit a tree. Oh my god, this is going to be painful. Uh, 
We might be here a while. I hope you're all doing something else in the background. Oh, straight into the first tray. I'm glad you enjoy my top games videos. I try and make them more interesting than the usual videos that are out there online because it can get kind of boring just hearing about the same games all the time. So I'm glad you appreciate that. I've been thinking about doing one for the PS2 because I haven't really covered that console much yet. There's an open question for the chat. What are some of your favourite PS2 games? Oh my god, this is a horrible stage. Oh my god, I can't get anywhere. There's too many of them. I'm taking one corner and flying into a post. need to memorise the cards. That's how I beat the octopus. Oh, I missed it. There's another one down here. Ah, go away. Ah, oh, I really thought that would hit him then. Damn it. Try and plan a route, so start by pick, picking up the blue one. Uh, use that before you get under there, I guess, and then pick up that red one. Oh, my back's aching. I can't lift the desk up on this side of the room either. I keep bouncing on the floor and it's changing changing the angle. Oh my god, this is horrible. You run a channel based on the options that are available for playing games on the LCD. That's cool. What are some of your favourite options? It might be interesting to know because I could also use the uh, HDMI output from some of them to record these streams and videos. And I've heard the Onimusha games are good, although I've never actually played any of them. So, which one's a good starting point? Just start from the first one. Hey, he banged into me, that's not fair. God, I'm missing so many red balloons. Oh, I could have had enough to hit him then. But at least I'm not crashing so much. And he's still in sight. Just about. I do not know where to go now. Oh no, it hit the wall. Oh no. Okay, retry. There's no chance. Once you've spun out, you just don't have enough speed to catch back up to him. Ah. Right, I need to move forward. I need to focus. My microphone doesn't come any closer than this. It's kind of annoying. I wish I had an easier way of using the microphone on this side of the room. Try that. Can you still hear me? Oh my god. Right. Aim for the blue one on the right first. We can do it. Oh my 
God, this is horrible. Has anyone got any tips for this stage? Has anyone ever got this far? Somehow I beat it as a kid, so I'm determined to beat it as an adult as well. Not like that. Ugh. Sharp, right. I can't go any sharper than that. Okay, okay, now go up, go up, go up. Oh, I missed it. But it's okay, there's another one. Wait, I did get it. Yes, excellent. Let's hit him out the air. I really thought I missed that. There you go, there's one positive to having giant hitboxes. Uh. Oh my god, this is horrible. And now I'm missing all the balloons. Yeah, you also have to be really careful not to tap the R button because if you do tap it you end up spinning around in a circle instead instead of actually turning sharper and obviously that slows you down a lot as well Ah, oh, no, I give up. Let's try again Use the Polymega I wanted to get a Polymega, but um, I cancelled my pre-order after I saw that they were taking years to be released. And apparently you can get them again now, but I don't know what the shipping situation's like. And it's so expensive for what it is, too. I mean, I've got the Mister plugged in over there already, and the only reason that I would actually use a Polymega over something like the Mister is to be able to use my own cartridges. And I do like the idea of using it for PC Engine and Turbo Graphics. So. That is probably the uh, the main thing I would use it for, that and PlayStation 1 games. And also using it for a few translation patches and things. So I can see myself using it in some certain situations, but probably not for everything, because I've kind of got back into using original systems now. And I don't really think it's worth the like 800 quid or whatever it is to get the console these days. Right, I need to focus now because I am messing up so badly at the slightest things. Like that. Oh, I failed. It takes so long to pick up speed. Oh yeah, the N64 module is coming out soon, isn't it? I wish it was more like the Retro Freak, where you could just get one module with all the different ports on it. Ah, oh, turn the corner too fast. Oh, I have no way of hearing the things, unfortunately. I don't know if anyone else can hear them. If I'm not streaming from the computer, I can't hear any of your donation things. I'm going to try and stay in the middle of this room because I think taking the time to go around the side actually slows you down too much in there. Uh, I was about to say that's probably the best. Yeah, I need to figure out my streaming setup for the side of the room because I can't hear anything. And I can only see everything really delayed on the Chromecast as well, which isn't ideal. But the headphones won't reach this far, and if I do it wirelessly, I can't hear the game. Oh my god. 
god. I'm sorry everyone, you're just watching me play the same little bit of the stage over and over again. Yeah, I was looking up the cheats in the car earlier because it didn't save after I beat the first Whizpig fight last time. And I was wondering whether there was any faster way of getting through it again, but in the end I just... Oh my god, in the end I just ended up doing it normally. Oh, what am I doing wrong here? What can I do to try and take these corners better? I just hit into everything there is. I'm already holding R the entire time and using the B button to try and turn sharper. There's just too much going on. Oh my god. Yeah, crashing. I'll try not to crash. I guess that's all there is to it. I just need to steal it. Better. Oh, I managed to get through. Oh my god. I don't really want to change characters because I wanted to play the whole game through as Timber. But yeah, maybe I need to play as a smaller character. Maybe Timber's no good for this. Hey, Stinky Gates is here. Hello, you've come to watch me suffer. When I did the last one of these fights the other week, it took me two hours of repeated attempts. So let's hope it doesn't take so long this time, although I think it might at this rate. I don't know how I did this as a kid. I had a lot more patience. Okay. I'm gonna rest on the table now so I can get in the zone. Hey, he actually hit me forwards, yes. Do that, do that more. Oh my God, these first few corners are insane. Well, we got one of them. Now I can go under this chin and grab the other one. And quickly fire that up at him. Oh no, did it miss? Did it hit his UFO thing instead? Ah, ah, restart. What controller am I using? Just a regular black N64 controller. With a nice analog stick. It's It was a new one from about five years ago maybe. So, I have no excuse in the controls department. Because it was a really nice controller. And it doesn't have the usual, like, weird analog stick issues that the, uh, the well used ones. Yes, I got both! Okay, that's uh, that's off to a better start. Now, let's try and get this one. I'll try and get one more from in these tunnels, even though they're in really awkward locations. Yes, got it. 
Get him again. Oh, why did I have to hit the wall? Ah! No, no, no. Oh, there we go. I've crashed again. I was doing okay that time. I got slightly further. Oh, God, I hate this so much. I have to keep up that level of perfection for three laps. Oh, sharp turn. Uh, too sharp. Too sharp. I hit the wall. I don't know how the testers didn't tell them that the boss fights are just way too difficult. The rest of the game isn't anything like this. Oh, that works. I'll just let it squish me. No! Oh my god, restart. There's just too much going on at the start of this stage. There's just way too much happening. <laughs> You're gonna leave me here. Leave me to suffer. Thank you. Hopefully it picks up soon. Oh, not if I do that. Alright, take care. Those corners. I can't do it. I can't do it. I might just have to give up here. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Really? They completely spun me out of control then. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think there is a reason. He just hates tigers, so he wants to race them. That's all there is to it. So I better start this time. Oh, it went too high. Why don't you come in here and do it for me? I'm going to go insane. This is literally torture. I was so excited to play Diddy Kong Racing again after I beat Wizpig. I thought, yeah, it's going to be really fun. We can do the space levels. We can wrap this game up and then I can start writing my script for the review that I'm doing for it. And yeah, my script is just going to be me descending into madness towards the end of this game. And what's even crazier is that this is only about halfway through the game. And when you get back to this bit, after you've finished Adventure 2, it's even more challenging. Maybe I need to stop talking and just focus on the game.
like a quarter of a lap ahead of me at that point. to take those corners tight enough. I'm getting better, at least, slightly. Best thing to do here, just stay right in the center. Uh. Don't panic, don't panic. Oh. I don't think I can catch back up now. That was a pretty good first lap, though. If I do that again. It doesn't hit him in the tunnels. <laughs> oh my god, Auto Mod held it because of a sex based term up the bum. This moderator is really overbearing. It's okay, I can I can handle that. Wait, wait a minute. Don't take that out of context. Save this missile for when I get out into the open. Uh, I tried to stay as low down as I could. Some UFOs fighting each other. Oh, sometimes it's just impossible to know what's going to hit you. There's all the explosions going on everywhere. No, I missed one. Ah, I could go back up and get the same one again. Uh, it's probably not worth carrying on, but I'll try. Just in case he messes up on the third lap. No, I doubt it. Is it safer to go higher up here? I have no idea. There's just lasers everywhere. Somehow I managed to make it through. Oh, I can't see him though. I think I'm pretty screwed. Screwed with a big stick. Love the bomb. Well into the tunnel, by right? No chance. No amount of red balloons will be able to help me here. Ah, I'll restart. Ah, how's everyone else doing this evening? What are you up to on a Wednesday evening, midweek? Have you all had a good time at work or whatever you get up to during the week? You got any plans, any projects you're working on or anything? 
I just finished writing a review for the uh, Pow Kitty Android handheld, which should be up on Friday if I get it edited in time. I'm not really a huge fan of it, which is a bit unfortunate. I was quite looking forward to it because I wanted to play Star Rail, but it doesn't really work very well. I was kind of unsure as to whether I should do a review of it at all, but as it was sent to me, I've got to share my honest thoughts and opinions on it, so I'll do the review anyway. But I'm getting a bit fed up of being sent things, so I'm going to try and stop accepting stuff soon. Making a new sticker? What have you done? Use that. Is it me being frustrated with Diddy Kong? Is it a new concentration face? Like when I played Repugnant Bounty. Uh, okay, restart. You will see. When will I see? After this stream's over, I guess. It's going to be plastered everywhere. How did I become a meme? Oh my god. Lolly1995. Hello. Come and see me suffer playing Diddy Kong Racing. I've only been on this fight for 20 minutes so far. That is nothing compared to the two hours it took me to beat Wiz Pig the last time. And my thumb's already starting to hurt. Well, I've been streaming for just over an hour, but the rest of it was actually fun because I was actually playing real levels, not just this one level over and over and over and over and over again for the millionth time. I might be going a little crazy. Oh, yes, did it. Oh my god, and I hit him right at the entrance. That was good. How did he end up getting straight back up to speed so fast? That seems a little jumpy. You know, I just need to not get hit by the lasers. And stay in the middle, in the open section that's coming up here. Oh my god, I'm still in first. Stay down the bottom. Oh, I'm so scared in this section, I hate it. Okay, we made it, we're free. Oh my god, and I'm still in first. What is this? My heart is literally pounding right now. Go away! Oh, that corner! I hate that corner so much! I always bang into the roof right there. Oh god, he's not far ahead. Sharp right. Get the balloon. And attack! Oh no, it hit the wall. And those two are basically impossible to get. I'm just going to try and stay safe. How is he not getting hit? He's like twice the size of me. Oh my god, this is the closest I've got so far. Oh no! That's it, I think I've lost one little slip up and it's game over. I can try and fight back. I got one home in missile, so it's a good start. If I can get one more, maybe. I know there's an easy one to get here. Yes, it hit him. It doesn't really seem to slow him down much, though. See, how, uh, how are you supposed to know whether you're going to get hit or not? <sighs> Restart. That was close. That was so close. You ordered a Sega Mega Drive 2 yesterday. Exciting. What games have you got for it? Or what games have you ordered for it? I love the Mega Drive. I don't think I've done a top Mega Drive games 
video actually. Maybe that's something I should try and do. I might try and plan one of them soon. What? What was that start? I was so so close last time. I was so close. I was doing so well. Hate that corner. I think I'm getting the hang of it more though. I wonder whether it's worth trying to get any of the blue balloons in this center area. Whoa, why did I do a spin? You just decided to do a backflip. I didn't tap the R button, I only pressed it once. Right. I'm gonna experiment and see if there's an easier way of getting through through this. Without getting hit by everything. Really? I really thought going around the side might help. Maybe stick directly in the center. I suppose it's worth trying to get the blue balloon there as well. And then you can get this one for a bigger speed up. I think I should give up on this one. Yeah, maybe it's worth getting the blue one there and then picking up those two red ones. There's another blue one on the ceiling too. And then here, the stick in the middle and hope for the best I guess. But then sometimes there's random laser beams that hit you and you've got no way of seeing where they're gonna where they're gonna get you from. Uh, let's see. Coming with Populous, Jurassic Park, Mickey's Land of Illusions, and a few more games. That's awesome, that's a really good selection. And To the Gates is off to VR chat. Have fun. You came here, you made a meme, and then you left. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Right, we are 25 minutes into this fight now. I think I'm getting better at it. I think? Or is that just wishful thinking? Uh, you only paid 47 quid for it, and it also came with two controllers. That's a really good deal. Like, those games on their own are probably worth 20, 47 if they're in box. Do you remember what the other few games were? You should definitely try and get Rocket Knight Adventures. That's definitely my favourite game on the system. That's a video I should do in the future, is a proper, a proper review of Rocket Knight Adventures. I've talked about it in the past a few times, but I've never properly done a full video on it. I need to introduce more people to that game. That's awesome. From back when Konami knew how to make good games. Yes, I hit him with a single one. Awesome. And we have a home in one lined up too. Come and get it, whiz pig. I'm scared. Ah, he actually hit me forward. Keep doing that. I don't know what happened there. Oh no. The other games are football ones. That's no fun. Sell them and get something more interesting. I 
I think we're getting better at this, slowly. What are you supposed to do in this bit? Has anyone got any ideas how to get through that section without just crashing every single time into everything? Oh, I didn't even get a speed boost. Pretty good, that thing pushed me forward a bit, I think. Oh, I cannot steer through there. I'm losing focus again, I need to concentrate. Not like that. Uh, it's so hot in here as well. That was good. I sort of rode up the wall to get around the corner. Oh, so I'm trying to do that again. I don't know how I did it though, that's the issue. Okay, what do I do? How do I stay safe here? That, apparently. I remember this being a lot easier on the DS. I think they must have adjusted the difficulty for that part. able to get through there without getting hit every time. Yeah. 
know how I did it. I thought that was going to knock me out as well, so that was lucky. Oh my god, I'm actually doing okay. Please don't hit me with any random lasers. Please, 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 please. Somehow I came through there okay and we're on the final lap and I'm in first place. It's okay, I can easily get another one. And one more. Oh my god, my hands are actually sweating now. It's okay, it's okay. There's another one there. Okay, okay, there's still, another, there's still one more. Oh my god. Fine, I won't have it. Have it your way, whiz pig. I won't take the other red one. Fine. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes! Yeah, I did it! Oh, it only took half an hour. Ah, oh, the relief. <laughs> Yay. Oh my god, that was challenging. Not quite as hard as the normal fight. Wow. Hey, Risu Chu, are you still watching? Here's some story. This might explain everything. Is that Earth? And so begins Pikmin. Now, do we get another party? A happier party? Haha, <laughs> the head on the mountains turned into Taj's head instead. <laughs> Look how happy everyone is now that Whizpig's not here to ruin everyone's fun. Prince Tricky from Star Fox Adventures and his kids, his brother and sister, who knows. That's it. They can just party in peace now. I can't remember if there is anything else you can unlock. You can unlock TT as a playable character somehow. I'm guessing something to do with time trials. <laughs> and there we go, that was Diddy Kong Racing. I might just jump back into the sofa and see whether there's anything I missed. Just in case. Oh hey, Skittles has just shown up. You just missed everything. We just completed the game, 100%. Or did we? There is more to it, there's a second adventure mode, but I don't really know whether I can be bothered to do this again. That was painful towards the end. Oh well. Enjoy this music. How have you been anyway? Are you working on anything now that your Game Boy game's out into the wild? 
Have you got any new projects? Oh, you missed it. Not only did you miss me beating the boss, you also missed the story. The paper thin story. He basically flew off on his rocket, crash landed onto a planet, and everyone else was just back on the island, just doing the can can. And the dinosaurs were all happy and dancing around. And that is the story. Yeah, the same dinosaur that's in Star Fox Adventures, actually. Which was going to be Dinosaur Planet, obviously. On the N64, before it got cancelled, and Miyamoto barged into their office in Twycross and demanded that Star Fox be the main character, instead of Sabre. Or Timber beforehand, actually, and that is the reason that I played as Timber in this game. Because he got robbed. He got robbed of the chance to star in his own game twice! He was meant to be the star of this game, and he was meant to be the star of Star Fox Adventures. So, poor Timber. I thought I should show him some love. Skittles and Fiddles says he's working on a trip world like game, and an open world RPG. And testing the physical for the Tonkin Bounty. Awesome! Keep up the good work, I'm sure your trip world game will be amazing. I'm still waiting for my actual Trip World cart from Limited Run. Oh yeah, the credit sequence is a little bit different this time. There you go. If you want the bananas to slow you down for some reason. Bogus bananas. Oh, no, it's showing me my top times for all stages. Do I need to watch all them? Yeah, I guess so. Oh well. Enjoy the music a little bit longer. I'm so glad I finished it. I was getting a little bit frustrated at that fight then. While it's going through this, I guess I can update Backloggery and say that I've mastered, or well, completed, I guess. Replaying on Twitch. Beat both. Eggs, pig. Fights. After much frustration. Two exclamation marks. I also found out the other day that I've been on backloggery for over 12 years now. That's crazy. I joined on the 11th of June. 2011. So, crazy. I'll do a bit of a sales pitch for Skittles as well. I definitely recommend you buy Repugnant Bounty. It's one of the best Metroidvanias available. I had great fun playing it, actually. If you want to see what the game's like, I actually streamed the entire game a few months ago. So you can you can go and check it out on my uh, YouTube channel. On the gameplay channel, not my main channel. Look at this. We have a second Adventure 2. But I think if we go back into the main adventure, I think there are... Still a few more things to do, so um, let's ask him for a hovercraft Hello, so we can get down to the beach easier. And let's go and check out what's left here. Oh yeah, I saw you'd got it running on 3DS, that's cool. Oh, what do we do now? Okay, apparently you just go into the sparkles. There is some more stuff to do. Not you. In here. We have to do the trophy race. We didn't do the trophy race yet. So this is basically uh, Grand Prix mode. And I did it for all the other sections. So why not go and do it for this one too. Even though I've already 100%ed the game. There might be something more that you unlock for doing this. I've never actually gone back and done the tro trophy race for these. Oh, 
resources. So that'll be interesting. And we get to enjoy the music again. The music on these space stages is just absolutely the best music in the game. Now we actually have some competition with the uh, the opponents that aren't on baby mode. Because when you go and do these trophy races, they do actually make it more challenging. Oh, that was a bit of a fail. I keep forgetting I can do the backflip. That's probably the way to get the balloons in that section. I'm so relieved now, I don't have to fight Wiz Pig again. Please don't tell me there's a stronger version after doing this or anything. I think I would actually cry. I'm so used to manoeuvring through these pillars now after fighting Wiz Pig. What games would you like to see me play on Twitch next, by the way? Now that I've finished Diddy Kong Racing, I haven't really got anything lined up. So, any suggestions? Also, I've, I've got my own list of games that I want to try and play to do videos on at some point. But, yeah, if there's any suggestions, throw them this way and I'll see whether I can do that at some point. Retro games only, I don't really want to play any new stuff anymore. Rayman 2? Yeah, that'd be cool to play. I've never I've never actually completed Rayman 2 either. I've played it a lot, but I've never actually completed it. And which version of Rayman 2 would you recommend? I've got it on Dreamcast and N64, I think. In terms of ones that I can play on Twitch, anyway. I'm guessing the Dreamcast version's the best one. probably doesn't have a 10 frames a second frame rate like this game does. Out of the way, Diddy Kong. I know it's your game, but there's hardly any reason for you to be in the game. Oh my god, the frame rate dips so low in this one. Suffer and play the DS version. I think I've got the DS version as well. And I've got a capture card, actually, so I could play it on the DS. And the 3DS. That game was re-released so many times, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I'll be quiet for a second so you can enjoy this music, because... This is possibly David Wise's best song, I would say. from 5th to 1st and back again. Oh my god, everyone's so close together on this one. Try and get that, yes. Whoa. This is really close, actually. Yeah, just missed that at the end. Ah, oh, there we go. My thumb is killing... 
I've been playing too much N64 now. Oh. Did the sound effects ruin the music? Rayman DS is the N64 version, but with the music at half volume and D-pad controls. Why would they play the music at half volume? That doesn't make any sense. I remember being quite impressed by the DS version, and I was kind of disappointed that there wasn't more N64 ports for the DS. Obviously, Diddy Kong Racing got a port to the DS, which was pretty cool. And I was a massive fan of that when that came out, even though it's uh, got a lot of weird shoehorned in touch control stuff that probably didn't need to be there. But even so, I was very happy with it at the time. Being one of my favourite N64 games, to be able to play that on the go as a kid was mind-blowing. I just wish I'd done that with more games for the system. I hope I actually unlock something for doing all these courses again. Come on, where is everyone? Where's my competition? Am I just too good? Oh, I missed it. I did that on purpose to give them a chance to catch back up. I think Crunch was directly behind me then. Got more bananas than me. I need to get more bananas. The bananas make you very slightly faster on average, the more that you hold. Oh no! Ah, he bounced off me. And someone's trying to shoot me. It's going a bit wide then. Uh, sharp turn! Yes, perfect. Hey, that was pretty easy. Stayed in first most of the way. Hmm. Uh, you would have loved to see Ocarina on the original DS. Yeah, that would have been cool. Would have been preferable to uh, Phantom Hourglass, which I wasn't a massive fan of. I mean, it's not a bad game, but it wasn't what I was expecting after playing things like Mario 64 and stuff on the DS. To have something so focused around the touchscreen felt kind of weird for a Zelda game. But it had a few interesting puzzle mechanics to go along with it. What, you really like Phantom Glass? I didn't say it was a bad game, I'm just saying it's not what I expected. I still like it. It's not as good as Minish Cap, though. Maybe I need to play Phantom Glass again, maybe that could be a strain. I liked Spirit Tracks more, actually, because you played Spirit Tracks. Uh, I'm flying around all over. This level took me ages to find all the silver coins on earlier. Oh my god, I can never get under there! I kept doing that intentionally to try and get the coin in the middle there, but now I'm doing it unintentionally. I just keep banging my head on the wall. Oh, that was close. I thought I was going to get hit then. Oh no! And there's no retrying on this Grand Prix either. If you retry, you go all the way back to the start of the first race. So you do actually have to be kind of careful. And if I finish an eighth, that's going to really um, put me down the ranks a bit. So let's see what we can do to fight our way back up. I'm going to really try and go down there this time. Yes! Okay, that was a lot better. Third, I can accept. Second is better. 
still. Let's try and stay on this side this time. Oh no! Uh, I can't turn sharp enough there. Oh no. Really, am I going to finish in last? Just because I hit the wall? Apparently. Let's see where that places me on the ranking board. God damn it. Well, I guess the difference is that Phantom Hourglass is a traditional Zelda game and Tears of the Kingdom is... Whatever Nintendo forced Zelda to become because they thought that's what people wanted. At least that's how I see it. Not that Tears of the Kingdom is a bad game, but yeah, compared to what Zelda should be, it's it's very different. I can't really say one's better than the other because I am really enjoying Tears of the Kingdom, but for very different reasons. But yeah, story-wise, progression-wise, I much prefer the older Zelda games. Right, what am I meant to do now? Let's speak to you. I've already got everything. I've actually got more than that because I just got a because I just got an extra one. That's actually a fifth one. But right, let's see what's through this door here. Oh, that's where you fight him. I really don't want to fight him again. I'm just going to quickly Google to see if there's anything else I need to do to 100% it. I really hope I don't have to fight again. Let's exit and see what's going on back in the mainland. Uh, I'm just having a look at um, a walkthrough. See if there's anything else I can do. No, that's it, I think. As far as I can tell, the game is 100% complete. Uh, hold on, let's see. Once you've beaten Whizpig in Future Funland... Uh, where am I? You'll have completed the adventure mode of Diddy Kong Racing. In recognition, you'll find that returning to the adventure mode menu displays a new game called Adventure 2. Starting Adventure 2 will task you with beating Diddy Kong Racing all over again as you race for Platinum Balloons. Every racetrack has also been mirrored and the silver coins are placed in more difficult locations. TT, the time trial clock, can be unlocked and stands as the most accomplished and desirable character with his stats easily overclocking the competition. How do you add TT to your roster? When visiting TT in either Dino Domain, Snowflake Land, blah blah, blah you'll have the option to turn on time trial mode. You'll need to beat all of TT's previous times on all the courses. And then you'll have the option to turn on time trials in Adventure 2. Okay, I'm not doing that now. Right. I think I'm going to end it there, and I think I'm pretty happy with all the progress that I've made. Maybe I'll check out Adventure 2 some other time. Maybe on my own, because it's the same as Adventure 1, basically. But anyway, look forward to a video on Diddy Kong Racing coming soon, because this was the reason that I did the stream, was to capture footage for a uh, kind of retrospective look back on the game, my memories of it and stuff like that. So look forward to that. Thank you everyone for joining me. Now I've got to spin around that way and end the stream. So I'll see you all again very soon, and I'm really glad that I did actually manage to do this and beat Whizpig twice. I'm so happy. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me, and I'll catch you again in the next stream.